How much creatine? Well, I asked the experts and they tell me that for somebody who's about 180 pounds, five grams a day should be sufficient or so heavier than 180. So if you get like, if you're a 220 pound or 230 pound person, 10 to 15 grams of creatine, people lighter than 180 pounds, maybe three to five grams of protein, uh, excuse me, creatine, or even one to th- three grams. Creatine is a fuel source at, for early, early in bouts of activity, for high intensity activity. It is also a fuel source for neurons in the brain, and it can have some cognitive enhancing effects. So creatine is a very interesting molecule. Early on, when it was released as a supplement, it was, um, it was thought that you had to load it in higher dosages for a few days and then maintain it at um, lower dosages. So you'd take you know, 20 or 30 grams a day, then back off to five or 10. It doesn't seem to be the case that you can get all the benefits from taking the dosages at the low level. I just mentioned a few moments ago uh, as they relate to body weight throughout. So salt and electrolytes, absolutely key. You need those present. You need to be well hydrated. Creatine seems to have a performance enhancing effect. There are 66 studies 66, showing that power output is greatly increased anywhere from 12 to 20%. And this is sprinting and running and jumping as well as weightlifting by creatine. The ability to um, hydrate your body is improved by creatine because of the way that it brings more uh, water into cells of various kinds. As an indirect effect, it can help in increase lean mass because of the way that it brings more water into muscle and probably also because of the way that if you get stronger, you can generate more force and generate more hypertrophy. It reduces fatigue. Seven studies have shown that it reduces fatigue. Um, there are even some interesting effects on improving cognition after traumatic brain injury, although that's a serious medical condition and situation. So you absolutely should talk to a board certified physician before adding anything or taking anything out of your current regimen. Uh, there are a few other effects that are interesting and notable, um, but the big ones are the ones that I referred to before about increased power output, et cetera. And I just want to emphasize that creatine can increase this hormone that we talked about in the testosterone episode, dihydrotestosterone, which um, is testosterone converted by 5-alpha reductase into dihydrotestosterone. It's the more dominant androgen in humans, leads to increases in strength and libido and so forth. It also can increase male pattern baldness. Some people, not everybody, experience some hair loss with creatine. Other people don't. Some people experience accelerated beard growth because basically DHC has the opposite effect on hair follicles on the face as it does on the scalp. Some people don't. Women uh, who ingest creatine, there are essentially no data showing that it, it increases hair loss or facial hair growth. So creatine, definitely a powerful performance enhancing molecule. The other one, uh, one that uh, personally I've never tried, but that seems to have uh, very strong and well-supported effects is beta alanine. Now, beta alanine is interesting because when you hear about weight training, you think about heavy deadlifts and bench presses, all that kind of stuff that people are doing. But beta alanine seems to support exercise that is of slightly longer duration. So a, a mix of anaerobic and aerobic type movement. So things, these are physical performance in the 60 to 240 second range. So you can use your mind and kind of figure out, you know, like things that weights of the, um, that limit you to eight to 15 repetitions, cardiovascular exercise of the sort, like rowing or sprinting. So interval work, it seems to help with that kind of work. So we're not talking about long runs. We're not talking about heavy deadlifts. The standard dose is somewhere between two and five grams. Again, as always check with a doctor, make sure these things are safe for you. I'm not responsible for your health. You are. I don't say that just to protect me. I'd say that also to protect you. But it really seems to improve muscular endurance, improve anaerobic running capacity, reduce fatigue. There are even some interesting effects on reduction of body fat and improvements in lean mass. So creatine, beta alanine, electrolytes, these are kind of the the core three things that seem to improve performance and are well supported by the scientific literature. 